The pranayama techniques taught in this chapter are meant to quiet your mind so that peace can naturally and spontaneously arise from within you, from your true inner self, Atma. Vedantic teachings describe Atma as Sat Chit Ananda, usually translated as existence, consciousness, and bliss. But it's totally impossible to accurately represent this crucial teaching in this way. Each of the three Sanskrit terms convey profound truths about your divine nature, and they need to be thoroughly unfolded to be fully understood. Briefly, sat means that which is absolutely real, that which exists in the past, present, and future, without birth, death, or decay. That means your true self, Atma, is unborn, uncreated, eternal, and unchanging. It's utterly unlike everything else in the world, which is all subject to decay and destruction. The word chit reveals your true self to be pure consciousness, the consciousness or awareness that's present in all your experiences. Chit is the shining light of awareness that illumines your thoughts, emotions, and sensations, all your vrittis, revealing them in your mind. The words sat and chit together express the truth of Atma as the unborn and undecaying consciousness or awareness by which you experience both the world around you and the ever-changing vrittis in your mind. Ananda is commonly translated as bliss, but this translation is problematic. The word bliss usually denotes some kind of wonderful or even ecstatic experience. But all experience, including the experience of bliss, comes and goes. Your true self, Atma, on the other hand, doesn't come and go. It's eternal. It's the everlasting consciousness by which your fleeting experiences of bliss are known. So, Ananda here isn't something you experience. It's your true nature, the essence of your being. For this reason, Ananda is better understood as fullness, wholeness, or perfection. The word Ananda reveals the vastness and limitlessness of Atma. This sense is beautifully conveyed in the Bhagavad Gita. Apuryamanam achala pratishtam samudramapa pravishanti yadvata. Atma is forever full, like a vast ocean into which countless rivers empty their waters. Figuratively speaking, Atma is a vast ocean of Ananda that exists within you as your own true divine nature. Atma is a limitless reservoir of peace and contentment, the true source of joy and happiness, as we discussed before. From this vast reservoir of Ananda arise your feelings of kindness, love, and compassion for others. Yet, these wonderful manifestations of Ananda are often absent in our behavior. When we're stressed, tired, or even just distracted, we often fail to treat others with the kindness and compassion they deserve. It's difficult to care deeply about others and give them loving attention at times when we feel emotionally drained. As we saw in the introduction to this chorus, we can only give to others what we ourselves possess. Fortunately, meditation can give you an opportunity to dive, so to speak, into that vast 
ocean of ananda within you. In meditation, you can dip into that limitless reservoir again and again to refresh yourself and refill your heart with kindness and compassion. And certain pranayama techniques can help you immerse yourself in that ocean of ananda. One unique kind of pranayama not only calms your nerves and quiets your mind, but it also helps you appreciate your true divine nature. This technique involves the use of a special mantra that's recited mentally in synchronization with your breathing. There are several such techniques that combine mantra recitation with pranayama. Those techniques are collectively known as Kriya Yoga. Among them, the practice using the mantra Soham is perhaps the best known, and it's specifically intended to help you metaphorically plunge into the vast reservoir of peace and happiness within you. The mantra Soham is derived from the Sanskrit pronoun saha, that, and aham, I. These two words combine to form soham, which literally means I am that. The word that refers to the inner divinity, your true self, atma, which is Satchitananda. So, an expanded meaning of the mantra soham is, I am that inner divinity, atma, unborn, undecaying consciousness, limitless, perfect, full, and complete, the source of all joy and peace. This mantra is often combined with the yogic breathing, and ujjayi pranayama techniques taught in previous lessons. Be sure to learn those techniques before continuing. Here, the syllable so is recited mentally during inhalation, and a syllable hum is recited during exhalation. For the coming exercise, it's best if you sit in a place that's particularly suitable for meditation. You can listen to this exercise using a laptop computer, a tablet, or a mobile device like your phone. This exercise is also available as a podcast or download from our website using the links in the video description below. I hope you are now seated comfortably in a suitable place. This exercise will take about 15 minutes. First, sit with a proper posture, as we discussed before. Close your eyes gently and take a deep breath to get settled down. Now, Make a sankalpa to affirm your intention and commitment to meditate. Acknowledge the fact that you have many unfulfilled responsibilities and issues that need to be addressed. Since you don't want to be distracted by those things during this meditation, you can give yourself permission now to set all those concerns aside. Just for the next 15 minutes. Next, we'll perform the progressive relaxation exercise, like in the previous lessons. Start by turning your attention to your feet. Become aware of any sensations there. Notice a sense of pressure as your feet press down. Notice a touch of your clothing and feelings of warmth or coolness. Now, 
become aware of any tension that might be held in the muscles of your feet and let go of that tension. Allow those muscles to relax completely. Next, turn your attention to your ankles and calves. Notice sensations of pressure, the touch of your clothing, warmth or coolness. Become aware of any tension held in the muscles of your ankles and calves and let go of that tension completely. Next, turn to your knees and thighs. Notice the weight of your hands or arms where they rest. Notice any other sensations. Become aware of any tension held in your knees and thighs and let go of that tension completely. Next, turn to the trunk of your body. Feel the weight of your body pressing down. Feel the firmness of the seat beneath you. Let go of any tension. Next, turn to your lower back and stomach together. Become aware of sensations. Let go of any tension. Now, turn to your upper back and chest. Become aware of sensations and let go of any tension. Now, your shoulders, arms, and hands. Become aware of sensations and let go of any tension. Finally, your neck, face, the muscles around your eyes, at your temples, and across your forehead. Let go of any tension. Now, turn your attention to your breathing. As we did earlier in the practice of prana vikshana, observe your inhalation and exhalation by mentally tracing the passage of air with each breath. As you inhale, observe the air entering your nostrils, traveling down your windpipe, and filling your lungs. As you exhale, Observe the air flowing out of your lungs, traveling up your windpipe, and leaving your nostrils. Breathe normally, naturally. Now, using the yogic breathing technique, Inhale more deeply, filling your lungs from the bottom up as you mentally recite the syllable so. Then, constrict your larynx muscles to slowly and gradually release air from your lungs as you mentally recite the syllable hum. Listen to the hissing sound as you exhale. Be sure to adjust your breathing so that you never feel lightheaded or short of breath.
inhale deeply, reciting the syllable so, and reflect on its meaning, your divine nature, Atma, the vast reservoir of peace and happiness within you. Then exhale slowly, listening to the hissing sound as you recite the syllable hum. With each exhalation, imagine yourself diving deeper and deeper into the vast reservoir of Ananda within you. Continue for one more minute, inhaling so, filling your lungs completely, aware of the vast reservoir of peace and happiness within you. Exhaling hum, listening to the hissing sound, feeling yourself immersed more and more deeply in that vast reservoir of Ananda. Now, if you're completely comfortable with this practice so far, you can develop it further by inhaling a bit more deeply, then pausing briefly, and then exhaling a bit more slowly. Be sure to adjust your breathing so that you remain completely comfortable.
Inhale a bit more deeply, reciting so, aware of the vast reservoir of peace and happiness within you. Pause. Exhale a bit more slowly, listening to the hissing sound as you recite hum, feeling yourself immersed more and more deeply in that vast reservoir of Ananda. Continue for just one more minute before we conclude. Inhaling so, aware of the vast reservoir of peace and happiness within you. Pause. Exhaling, hum. Feeling yourself immersed more and more deeply in that vast reservoir of Ananda. Now, as we conclude this exercise, breathe normally and just listen to these closing remarks. You can practice this technique whenever you want, listening to this exercise again or without it. If you practice it independently, you can experiment with the depth of your inhalation, the length of your exhalation, and the length of each pause. This lesson concludes the second chapter of the course. In the next lesson, we'll begin chapter three on concentration, focusing your mind.